Outdoor pig farming in Yorkshire offers a smaller scale approach compared to indoor systems, with a focus on animal welfare and potentially higher quality meat. Outdoor pig farming allows pigs to express natural behaviors like rooting, foraging, and wallowing in mud. This can lead to happier and healthier pigs, potentially translating to better tasting meat. While there's no restriction on breeds, some Yorkshire farms raising pigs outdoors might choose heritage breeds known for hardiness and fat marbling, like Tamworths or Middle Whites. Land suitability is crucial. Well-drained soils are needed to prevent mud and ensure pig comfort. Farmers might rotate grazing areas to maintain healthy pastures and minimize environmental impact. It's important to note that outdoor pig farming represents a smaller portion of Yorkshire's pig production. Indoor systems with a focus on efficiency are still more common. The piglets are weaned a few weeks before transport to allow them to adjust to solid food and become less dependent on their mothers. The loading area should be calm and quiet to minimize stress on the piglets. It should also be free from sharp edges or anything that could injure them. Depending on the season, the loading area might be heated or cooled to maintain a comfortable temperature for the piglets. Specially designed livestock trucks are used. These trailers have proper ventilation, non-slip flooring, and compartments to separate groups of piglets if needed. The truck won't be overcrowded. There will be enough space for the piglets to lie down comfortably and turn around. Ideally, journeys should be kept as short as possible to minimize stress. The maximum transport time of pigs, including loading and unloading, is 24 hours. The farmer should check the number, weight, and fitness of pigs to load and inform the transporter. The transport company should prepare a written loading plan. The space allowances per pig vary depending on their weight. For example, piglets, 25 to 30 kilograms, require 0.18 square meters per piglet or 6 piglets slash m superscript 2. All pigs should be able to lay down or stand at the same time. Similar to loading, the unloading area should be calm and quiet, with a smooth transition from the trailer to the new housing area. Upon arrival, piglets should have access to fresh water and electrolytes to prevent dehydration. Feed might also be offered depending on the transport duration. The piglets will be monitored closely after unloading to ensure they are adjusting well to their new environment. A 2800 SO unit equipped with Jiga Technologies Gestal 3G and Gestal Solo feeding systems combines large-scale SO management with smart feeding technology. The Gestal 3G caters to SOs housed in groups during gestation, pregnancy. Each sow wears an electronic ear tag that identifies her when she approaches a feeding station. The Gestal 3G system recognizes the sow and dispenses the precise amount and type of feed based on her individual needs. Factors like her stage of gestation, weight, and body condition can be considered. By allowing individual feeding within a group setting, Gestal 3G aims to minimize competition and aggression between sows over access to feed. Meanwhile, Gestal Solo caters to sows during farrowing and lactation. These sows are typically housed individually in crates or stalls. Each farrowing crate slash stall has a Gestal Solo feeder attached. The Gestal Solo system likely identifies the sow and tailors her feed based on her needs. 
Gestal Solo might also consider the number of piglets a nursing to ensure the sow receives the proper nutrients to produce enough milk. Both systems are designed to be strong, durable, and pressure washable. They are also compatible with every type of building, making them suitable for new constructions or renovations. The Merrill Streamline Debening and Trimming System is a fully customized system that can be tailor-made to a customer's specifications. Streamline aims to maximize knife and meat time, meaning more time spent by workers actively processing the meat. It achieves this through automation and a focus on workflow optimization. Deboned primal cuts enter the Streamline system. An automated system assigns each primal cut to a workstation based on operator availability and cut specifications. At each workstation, a display shows the worker the specific type of cut required and the processing steps involved. The worker performs the necessary debining and trimming according to the instructions. The streamlined system tracks each primal cut throughout the process, allowing for the system can identify the specific carcass and worker involved in processing each final meat cut. Data is collected on the amount of usable meat obtained and the speed of processing for each cut and worker. The HMI Bed Buster from Hatfield Manufacturing is a machine designed to improve the comfort of cattle by breaking up packed bedding in freestall cattle housing. The Bed Buster is operated from the comfort of a tractor or skid steer. As the machine moves forward in the alley, its rotating blades fluff and level sand and compost materials under freestall hoops. Fluffing the bedding creates a softer, more comfortable lying surface for the cows. By breaking up clumps, the bed buster allows for better drainage of urine and moisture from the bedding, creating a drier and healthier environment for the cows. Koshe SA offers a range of vacuum cleaners for plant residues, which are used for manure management as well. The vacuum cleaners have significant suction capacities. This allows them to handle large volumes of waste, including manure. These vacuum cleaners greatly reduce the volume of waste sucked up. This promotes recycling and limits the number of trips needed to dispose of the waste. A long, Flexible suction hose would be unfurled and directed towards the manure. The suction would draw manure through the hose into a collection tank on the machine. The manure could be in liquid, semi-solid, or even somewhat solid form depending on the specific design and suction power. 
A pump or auger system could transfer the manure directly to a waiting spreader or transport tank for distribution on fields.